The threat of tropical weather puts several area parishes in a river flood warning through the weekend. The National Weather Service now forecasts a potential three-foot rise in the river at the Carrollton Gage by this Friday afternoon. Engineer H.J. Bosworth with levees.org joins us uh, with whether the sky is falling here. And, and your point is, good morning, first of all. Good morning. Your point is, take a deep breath. This is not as bad when you hear these numbers. as maybe not as scary as, as it seems. The river levees are pretty high, and they're pretty stout, and they're well-reinforced, uh, armored on the, uh, the outside face or the uh, flood side and um, protect us pretty well and are tested frequently, very frequently. Well, I was going to ask you about that because I know one of your points is that they are tested frequently. They're not like the levees before Katrina, which were levees of marshmallow, <laughs> Some uh, of them. you know, practically, and blew apart and disintegrated in 30 different spots. But at the, on the other hand, were they really designed to the extent that they were sort of built over a period of time to withstand this kind of high water for this long a period of time? The levee upgrades that we've had over the past 30 or 40 years have typically been well engineered and well constructed. You know, it's a little bit at a time, it's you know, well supervised. The, um, the port of New Orleans is very important to the United States. And when protecting the port, which is what you're doing with the river levees, that's something that they pay close attention to. That's an excellent point. When they start talking about 19 feet and closing those floodgates along the riverfront, people say, oh, I can't take the streetcar. But then <laughs> the U.S. port industry takes notice. <laughs> yes, indeed. Finally, Washington, D.C. will realize, oh, there are consequences to having all this water in the Mississippi Basin uh, headed down to New Orleans. Okay, so let's bring up the, the forecast graphic from the National Weather Service, which is talking about on Friday afternoon, uh, a level that peak there is 19 feet Friday at 1 o'clock, and it doesn't really start to rise in any significant way um, really until, you know, about 1 o'clock tomorrow when it starts that upward tick. Your point is that's a relatively short period of time. It'll, it'll go up and down. Right. In 12 hours, according to this forecast, it'll rise 2 feet and drop 2 feet, and then the rest of it will taper off so if I'm, at home, if I'm at home listening to this and, and you know, I'm, I hear 19 feet and flood stage and, you know, I've lived through Katrina and all that and I'm getting nervous about, you know, the idea that New Orleans, you know, could potentially flood again, what would you tell someone? New Orleans hasn't flooded from a river event since 1849 and the Corps of Engineers and the levee authorities and the Mississippi uh, River Commission have been very good at doing this sort of stuff. Ever over the past 160 years. Okay, on the other hand, there are serious consequences to this high river. It's a, it's a dangerous river for those who work on it for months and months now. Do we need to step back and take a look at, you know, running the Morganza differently or building something else in the system? Because the Morganza has consequences for people too, but is this tolerable to have this kind of high river for this period of time? This is, uh, this is an issue that concerns a lot of us who understand, you know, what goes on in the Mississippi Basin. You know, we're draining a million square miles of the United States all into the Atchafalaya into the Mississippi River. And this may happen again next year, a few years from now. There's, a, there's no incentive for the folks in the Mississippi Valley to, you know, minimize their development or minimize their uh, runoff, minimize, you know, the paving and... Uh, that sort of stuff. And, and making this the drainage and canal. And making for the this such a scary drainage canal. All right. H.J. Bosworth uh, with levies.org. Some important words for the long term, but maybe some reassurance here in the short term for anybody.